welcome i welcome you all to this course sandhi in paninian grammar i also welcome you to this lecture in this lecture we are studying hal sandhi which is a consonant sandhi we have noted that there are two types of hal sandhi ekasthanika ekadesha where there is one substituent which is replaced by one substitute and we also have ekasthanika dvyadesha where we have one substituent which is replaced by two substitutes ekasthanika ekadesha is what we are studying currently and this can be also classified further under two namely purva nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha and also para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha the para nimittaka ekasthanika ekadesha can be explained using the diagram in the following manner we have a plus b in the samhita mode where a comes immediately before b and b comes immediately after a b is para and in the environment of b now a is substituted by c so para nimittak ek sthanik ek adesh this is what is c after all para nimittak ek sthanik and ek adesh a plus b is the input c plus b is the output and amongst them currently we are studying shchutva sandhi and we also have studied the sutra stoschanaschu but it is important for us to study stoschanaschu once again in this lecture as well stoschanaschu has got three words stoho which is 6 slash 1 of stu stu is made up of sa and tu tu stands for tavarga tavarga means the five consonants ta tha da dha na so stoho 6 slash 1 means in place of stu the other word is schuna which is 3 slash 1 of schu schu consists of two elements sh and chu chu refers to cha varga that is cha ch j j and y so schuna means in association with or in combination of the third word in the sutra is schu 1/1 of schu which is once again sh and chu and chu refers to cha varga that is ch ch j j y schu then means substitute schu all this put together the sutra means in the close proximity of sounds samhitayam in the combination of chu that is sh and ch chu that is ch varga that is ch ch j j y in place of stu sa and tu tu is ta varga that is ta tha da dha na substitute sh and chu that is ch varga that is ch ch j j y i repeat in the close proximity of sounds in the combination of chu in place of stu substitute sh and chu so in this sutra we also notice the principle of correspondence playing an important role also known as yathasankhya in paninian grammar in this sutra yathasankhya relation exists between the sets of sthani or karyi and adesha or karya yathasankhya relation does not exist between 
the sets of nimitta and sthani and nimitta and adesha. This can be shown in the following manner where we have shchu plus sa as the input, shchu is the nimitta, sa is the kari or sthani and in place of sa, sh is the substitute which occurs in the first position. So shchu plus sa is the input and shchu plus sh is the output. Similarly, you have shchu plus na as the input and na is substituted by the fifth sound in the ch class that is ya. So shchu plus ya is the output. Similarly, you have sa plus chu, where now the order is reversed, sa plus chu and sa is substituted by sh. So we have sh plus chu as the output. Then ta plus chu and ta will be substituted by ch, which is the first in the set of chavarga. So we have ta plus chu as the input and ch plus chu as the output. Similarly, the plus chu as the input and j plus chu as the output. Following the principle of correspondence or yatha sankhya nyaya. So we have these examples in which we have tatha dadhana as the kari or the sthani followed by shchu, first sh. So sh is acting as the para nimitta, tatha dadhana is the sthani which appears before sh. And now in place of tatha dadhana, we have chacha jajhaya as the substitute. And then there is the principle of correspondence that works. So in place of the, ch is the first substitute, which is the first in the class. And sh is the right hand side environment. Similarly, th will be substituted by ch, the by j, the by j, and na by y in the environment of sh. Ch, ch, j, j, and y. Let us now look at each one by one. First, let us take tatha dadhana plus ch, where tatha dadhana is the sthani or the kari, followed by ch as the environment, and 8440 applies, and the output generated is. Chacha jajha ya plus cha. We have already seen the examples where tatha dadhana is followed by sh and the output generated is chacha jajha ya followed by sh. So we have tat plus cha as the input, the first example, tat plus cha over here, where ta appears at the end of the pada, cha appears at the beginning of this second pada. So now this ta is substituted by the, so we have tad plus ch, then this the will be substituted by j and then it will be changed to ch and so we will have tach plus ch, so tach. This is the output. Then we have agnimat plus chara, where tha will be substituted first by the, then this the will be substituted by j. And then this j will be substituted by ch, and then finally we will get the form agnimat ch. Similarly, purabhid plus chalati, where the is substituted by j, as is shown here, and then this j will be substituted by ch, and then finally we will get purabhid chalati. This is what is happening in the other cases as well. Similarly, you have yudha plus chada and first this dha will be substituted by the and then this ja will be sub the will be substituted by j and this ja will then be substituted by ch 
and you will get the form yuchchana yuchchana. Similarly, you have rajan plus chakram and this na is followed by ch. So now this na will be substituted by ya and so we'll have the form rajai chakram. In all these cases, we observe that the, th and the, they are all first substituted by the and then this the gets substituted by j. Similarly, we have the, th, the, the, na followed by ch. These are the template examples and so we have sat plus cheda. Once again, ta is substituted by the, sad plus cheda, then the gets substituted by j, saj cheda, then j gets substituted by ch, so we have such cheda, that is sat cheda. Then we have math plus chhatra, where tha is substituted first by the and then next this the is substituted by j then j by ch so we have much chhatra finally mat chhatra then we have marud plus chaya and this the is substituted by j so we have maruj chaya j is substituted by ch and finally we have marut chaya then we have yuddha plus chatra this dha is substituted by the first the substituted by j and then j by ch so we have yuch chatra that is yut chatra finally we have san plus chatra and this is an example of pada and external sandhi, sandhi in between two padas. So san plus chatraha and this na will be substituted by nya. So we have sai chatraha that is sai chatraha as the output. Then we have tatha dadhana plus j and the output generated is chacha jajha nya plus j. So we have the compound example sat plus jana. So ta coming at the end of this word and j coming at the beginning of this adarpada. This is a compound. So samhita is obligatory. And so this ta will be then substituted by the sad plus jana. And this the will be substituted by j saj plus jana. That is sajjana. Similarly, math plus jara, tha will be substituted by the first and then the will be substituted by j and so we'll have majjara. Then we have tad plus j where the is substituted by j. So we have taj plus j that is tadj. Similarly, yudh plus jana and yudh has the at the end followed by j. This is a compound. So now the will be first substituted by the, then this the by j, and finally we'll get the form yujjana. Similarly, san plus jayaha, and here we have na substituted by ya. So we have san jayaha, sai jayaha. In all these four cases, we observe that the th and the first gets substituted by the. The sutra Jhalam Jashonte applies over here and substitutes these sounds by the. And then this the gets converted into j, is substituted by j. Then we have the template example tatha dadhana plus j and the output generated is chacha jajhanya plus j. So we have sat plus jhasha. There aren't many words in Sanskrit that begin with j. So we have sat plus jhasha 
a, an example of a compound where the is first substituted by the, then this the by j and here 8440 applies. So, we have saj plus jhasha that is saj jhasha as the derived output. Next we have matha plus jhasha and the sutra applies that is 8 to 39 jhalam jhasha unte. So, tha is substituted by the. So, we have madha plus jhasha then 8440 applies and then the next substitute is maj plus jhasha that is maj jhasha. Then we have ud plus jhara next example where the is substituted by j by the application of 8440 and we get uj plus jhara that is ud jhara. Then we have yudha plus jharja yudha ends in dha jharja begins with jha. So, now first 8 to 39 applies and substitute dha by dha. So, we have yudh plus jharja here 8440 applies and substitutes this dha by jha. So, we have yuj plus jharja we join it together and we get yuj jharja. Similarly, sai plus jhatitaha this is an example of sandhi between two padas sai san plus jhatitaha and so we get na substituted by ya. So, we have sai plus jhatitaha, sai jhatitaha. And finally, we have tatha dadhana followed by ya and the output generated is chacha jajha ya followed by ya. So, we have examples sat plus yungove, yungove is a very rare form. In fact, there are no words beginning with y in Sanskrit. Yungove is the past perfect of the verbal root ngong shabde. So, that is what is used over here. So, we have sat plus yungove and here sat gets substituted by the, the gets substituted by j here the sutra applies and then j gets substituted by y. So, we have sai yomove as the finally derived form. Similarly, math plus yomove jalam jashonte applies and first we have madh plus yomove the is substituted by j over here by the application of this particular sutra 8440 maj plus yung away. Then this j is substituted by y by another sutra and we have my yung away as the finally derived output. Then we have ud plus yung away. The is substituted by j and then j is substituted by y. The is substituted by j by 8440 and j is substituted by y a nasal by another sutra which, which we shall see later on which is yaro nu nasike nu nasiko va. So, we have oi plus yung away oi yung away as the derived output. Then we have yudha plus yung away and then jalam jashante applies first you get yudha plus yung away. Then this the is substituted by j yuj plus yung away and then j is substituted by y. So, we have yung yung away that is the finally derived form. Finally, we have sun plus yung away and this na is directly substituted by y. So, we have sai yung away, sai yung away as the finally derived output. We have observed that in most of the cases, jhalam jashonte plays an important role in these derivations. What jhalam jashonte means is the following. It means that at the end of a pada, 
and we had all the examples of this kind. There weren't any other examples. Even within a pada, then we had two types of examples, one as part of a sentence and one as part of a compound. So at the end of a pada, jhal, jhal means all consonants minus the fifth consonant and sh, sh, s, h together. This jhal is substituted by jash. Jash is the third consonant. Now this sutra 8239 obviously is arranged before 8440 and therefore 8239 applies first. And in most of the cases substitutes 1, 2, 3 and 4 of 2 into its third consonant namely the. Then this the becomes an input to 8440. And then this the is substituted by j of the set of the substitute namely chu. This is very interesting and this is what we note. Even though the sutra says stu is to be replaced by chu, the internal derivation process of ashtadhyayi dictates that stu be replaced by the in the first cases and then this the gets replaced by j which is part of chu. In case of the right hand side environment of the fifth consonant of chu that is y, then this becomes output of 8440 and this output becomes an input of 8445 which is yaro no nasike no nasiko wa. And then this substitutes the third and the fifth of two, that is the and n, by the fifth of chu, that is y. Given this interrelation of rules, part of 8440 enjoys redundancy. This will be the case in case of other rules dealing with the hal sandhi, which we shall see later on. Arrangement of such rules dealing with hal sandhi in the asiddha kanda, in which rules are non-existent for the subsequent rules. This is a hallmark of Paninian grammar of the treatment of hal sandhi. All the examples of this hal sandhi are those of external sandhi, that is sandhi between two padas either as part of the sentence or as part of the compound. No internal sandhi environment is such that it fulfills the conditions of application of 8440. Next, after having finished the shchatva sandhi, we proceed to study the shtatva sandhi in the next lecture. Thank you for your patience.